There are no missiles. Yes, America, the world's largest arms producer, is unable to send missiles to Ukraine to defend itself. The reason isn't Russia or China. The real reason was Netanyahu, who was sitting at the same table with Trump at a dinner party on July 7th. So, how did this happen? Israel has almost completely depleted America's stockpile of air defense missiles in its wars with Gaza, Lebanon, Yemen, and the recent war with Iran. Reporters at the dinner asked Trump, how are you going to support Ukraine? Trump simply replied, we're going to send defensive weapons. The Ukrainians are being hit hard and have to defend themselves. The most defensive weapon Ukraine needs right now is the air defense systems missiles, the famous American Patriot missile. But the truth is, America isn't able to send anything. The Guardian reported that the U.S. military only has 25% of the Patriot missiles it actually needs. Of course, the companies that produce these missiles, such as Lockheed Martin and others, will not be able to quickly cover this deficit because annual production is limited and a single missile costs up to $4 million. Amid all this, Trump was hesitant to send even 10 missiles to Ukraine, a trivial number that would barely meet Ukrainian needs. The shipment, which had been ready in Poland for a month, has yet to arrive. This situation has sent America's European allies into a tailspin, while Ukraine on the other hand, is losing Patriot batteries one after another. What ultimately happened was that Trump changed his mind and said, we will send weapons to Ukraine but NATO will pay. What we can say now is that Patriots have become an extremely scarce weapon, and each missile is now treated as if it were worth more than gold. This raises serious strategic questions, has America plunged itself into a defense crisis because of its defense of Israel? Does this mean that its ability to confront China is weaker than ever? I would like to see your opinions in the comments.